Hi, I'm a bullish student tutor, and in this video, I'll be talking about a homework question in Adders Functions. Today's main goal is to find out the answer to the uh, function f of x when given a function like this. Here's an example. f of 6 minus 2x equals x squared minus 2. And let's find out what f of x is. <clears throat> so, the real difficulty of this question is that the x right here in the first equation represents a different meaning than the x right here. So, you really want to work out a solution in your head before you actually do it. So, my template basically is to replace the x right here. the x right here to a so a equals x that's my assumption and I'll rewrite the function to f of 6 minus 2a equals a squared minus 2 that's much more clear gonna zoom in a little bit and what do I do now so we know that a equals x then that means a squared mine oh sorry that means 6 minus 2 a equals x because we want to find out because we want to find out what f of x is so Solve the equation, 2a equals 6 minus x. a equals 6 minus x over 2. <clears throat> and we know about a, we, what we really need to find out is just one step. f of x equals, just substitute the a right here into this function into this equation and we get um, 6 minus x over 2 squared minus 2 equals f of x so that's pretty much what f of x is now what we really need to do is to simplify this equation so the numerator equals x minus 12x plus 36 divided by 2 squared 4 minus 2. That further simplifies x minus x squared minus 12x plus 36 minus here is a 2 so 2 equals 8 over 4 so minus 8 divided by 4 which equals which equals x squared minus 12x plus 28 over 4 and we actually cannot further simplify this equation so that's pretty much the answer to f of x it's actually pretty simple the real confusion here is that the x is that x here represents different meaning than x here as long as you understand that and you substitute a number I mean you assume a variable and substitute the number in that you will be fine This has been a Bullish Student Tutors video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more tutoring videos. Thank you.